we're up in Springfield today. Uh, this job's been going for quite a while, almost a month, and the raccoons just refused to come out of the attic. Finally got some warm weather today. Um, unfortunately, this house doesn't have any attic access. The owner wasn't interested in putting one in. You can see a sagging gutter right there. Pulled the fascia loose from the, from the roof line. Um, too easy for raccoons. If we come around here to the front, you can see right there is another hole. There's no doubt where these raccoons were climbing the house. Um, if you take a close look, uh, that corner piece of trim there is not white any longer. Um, it is mud smeared um, with raccoon tracks the whole way up and down. Very obvious raccoon travel route right up to that roof line. Now we're up on the porch roof. Um, this is where the uh, coons traveled on up to the main roof of the home. As you can see, once again, just grabbing the corner of that corner trim on the vinyl siding. Climbing down from the roof. And here we have, finally, success. It's the second one in the last two days and the last one. So we'll get out of here. See another look. Right there is where the raccoons were climbing up. You can see that stain right on that side, very obvious. Climbing up to that upper level roof. There's a hole right in that area, right above the gutter line. Hard to see from here. Came down to there, came across this roof line, and came down this corner right here. Right on that vinyl side, and you can see the staining from here. It's definitely not white. Very stained with mud. Um, and here we have our culprit. Real big raccoon caught in a safeguard universal trap. Um, let's make this project another wrap for advanced wildlife. 